here I have an enhanced premiere, uh, I guess you'd call it a deck box. Um, recently ran out of the, the loot with lightsaber and, and uh, getting short on a couple of the others, so it's time to open one of these. I don't think I ever spent too much time looking at the top. I mean, they just took the, uh, the pictures of everybody that would be on the cards and, and put them on the top there, but they look nice and gold. Probably even easier to see with the shrink wrap off. Yeah, so those are some pretty sharp pictures. And uh, it's actually easier to open these and fold it under with the packs out, so I'll probably do that. Let's get all the shrink wrap off. There's six different packs here, six different types. There's 12 total. Um, it's not like the later ones where there's uh, four of or three of each of the four. So we're going to see multiples of Luke and Vader. It should be three of Luke, three of Vader, three of Obi, uh, two of Obi Wan, two of Boba, and one of Han, and one of Leia. So apparently there was a time where you could uh, send in for specific ones of these and get arrangements anyone you want. But all the the standard released ones, as far as I've heard, have uh, have those uh, those as the as the breakdown. So we do got one, two, three Lukes. This is a bit of a bummer, but uh, our one Leia. These all look pretty good. I wasn't. I'm not sure if you could could tell before. These all look pretty good in there, at least from the top. And the Luke so far from the front, but our one Leia is one that has a dent on it. So. And that's not just to the shrink wrap, that's definitely to the package. It's pretty high up on the peak here, so that's not really to the cards, but um, yeah, that is a bit of a bummer that it happened to the package, and the back is a little bit dented too. The where, where you got to worry about with these is if it gets a lot of damage on the front, because then you can actually bend the card. I've had a couple like that, but the front looks okay. So we got three Vaders. Those look pretty sharp. Let's put them next to the three Lukes just to see what that looks like. I remember the days walking into, I guess ironically, the the Wizards of the Coast retail stores they had in order to buy Decipher product. And I remember getting a Luke, and uh, in one of the packs I got a Vader, and that might have been my first real Luke, and Vader was out of, out of one of these packs. So there's our three Lukes, our three Vaders. Our one Han and our one Leia. Here's the Han. How does he look? Pretty good. Yeah, that's oh, that's to the shrink wrap. It feels like so when I push down on that, that comes in. So that's not to the box. That's nice. And I have a couple where uh, because there's a little bit of a recess here. Uh, I've seen this punched out before, but at least this, at least the surface of these is is good. I mean, there's some wrinkling there on the Leia, but that's not punched through. Well, gosh. It's really hard to tell, actually. No, I don't think it's punched through. But, yeah, a little bit dented there. So, the way is not uh, what I was hoping for. I'd rather ha that happen to a Luke or Vader, but that's that's the way of things, as Yoda would say. And then we have four more. So we got our two Obi-Wans. And we got our two Bobas, which they call it Enhanced Premiere, but they got... Uh, Boba Fett from Cloud City, a picture when he was on Cloud City. Han and Leia when they're on Hoth. Luke when, or Vader when he's on Cloud City. Luke when he's uh, on, the, on the second Death Star. Obi-Wan, that's when he was in the, in the cantina, which is when his original picture was from. When I say original pr picture, the premiere Obi-Wan has uh, him in the cantina. And the special edition Obi-Wan has him in his hut, I believe, is when that one's from. Rather than open up a whole box, which includes four unlimited packs, I'm just going to open up one unlimited pack, because these ones, uh, they don't come around too often. I get a lot more unlimited packs than I do, so at least we'll get a sample of what's what's in uh, there. And then in terms of the stats of these cards, um, Luke and Obi-Wan are pretty similar. If you're if you're curious and you want to check the stats, see if I got this right. Uh, Luke is power five, ability five, deploy five, forfeit seven, and uh, he adds two to power anything pilots, and he's got his lightsaber, which draw two destiny can make somebody forfeit zero if it hits. Obi Wan's the same, except you can see there he's got one more ability, deploy five, forfeit eight, 
he's not a pilot. And Vader's pretty similar. I think he's six and seven. Six uh, deploy six four foot seven. Adds three to power anything pilots. Six and six. He's cool because he adds uh, a destiny with Luke, a battle destiny with Luke or Chewie, and he's a good pilot, and he can shoot. He just doesn't draw two destinies. Deploy four four foot six. Boba, man, I don't know if I remember Boba. Maybe f deploy five four foot six. Adds three to power. Adds battle destiny with Han or Jabba. And uh, I think, well, and his blaster, I think you add one, and same thing with Hans, you add one if you hit their four foot zero. Leia, let's see, he adds with Luke or Chewie, she must add a battle his name with Han. I do not remember her deploy four foot, I'm going to guess four and six, and then she's three and four, let's see if I got that right. Eh, uh, it's hard to tell. Yeah, deploy three, four foot, or ability, sorry, not deploy three, power three, ability four. So, uh, and I think she adds one to the power of anything she pilots. So, I I probably should have gotten these cards out in case you aren't sure what they do. I have copies of them loose, but I didn't want to open these ones up. But needless to say, I've played with them quite, all quite a bit, and they're all pretty cool cards. So, that's, I think, one of the reasons they made these is that... Um, they had a bunch of premiere cards they needed to sell, so they put some really good characters, at least at the time, and some of them are still pretty good, uh, with really good stats. If I got any of those stats wrong, let me know in the comments. After you sort a bunch of these cards after a while, it all it kind of sticks with you, or blends together, depending on whether I got them right or wrong, I suppose. Okay, I didn't do too bad of a job opening this one. My goal is always to make the front look good and get the cards out without hacking up the pack too much. Let's see if I can get that off the corner. Nice. All right, I'll save this wrapper then. Got it. That was... Did I get the front there? Nope, not really. Okay, that's a nice wrapper. Premier packs, four uncommons, ten commons. So we're going to count off four uncommons. That's the rare. It's a dark side card. Maybe it's that Vader. Who knows? It's probably not. Just by the odds. But who knows? It could be. Okay. This one has a bit of an error on it. I believe it's supposed to be Owen, Lars, Baru, Lars, and Luke deploy minus one. There may be a, ver a white border version where it's correct. I think the black border version it is correct. The white border version maybe came from one of those, from that uh, two player game. I'm not sure. A pretty useful card. Being, I mean, shuffling may be useful, but it's just nice to be able to put a five back in your deck. Some, some, some good cards so far. I mean, a lot of stuff that's still useful today. There's one that's not so useful today, but that's all right. Well, the virtual version is. It lets you deploy a weapon from your reserve deck each turn. Scanning crew. This one's fun and sealed. Somebody gets Obi-Wan into their hand, and you play Scanning Crew and send them to the use pile, so they can't play Obi-Wan, and, uh, yeah, they got a one back in their deck. So, in, uh, like, sealed deck type games, that's fun. This one, the errata made it not as, not as good as I thought. So you draw two Destiny, if the total is greater than five points, weapons are knocked away. I thought that meant that, like, the opponent could not use any weapons that battle, but I'm pretty sure it was given an errata so that you target one character, and um, that character's weapons may not be used that battle. But yeah, just imagine going against three guys with lightsabers and having one one Tuscan with a gaffy stick knocking them all away. And even then, I still don't think people play Tuscans. They're just not that good. Cool text here. Your capital starships deploy minus two and starfighters deploy minus one, but. It's not a battleground, and it's a drain of two, so that is a bummer. Got a lot of escape pods lately. The central core. Laser projector. Our rare is an imperial? Mm, oh, it's a weapon. Okay, so... Oh dear. Some of you know what this might be. It could be a seeker. Um... And it could be a turbo laser battery, and it could be the light repeating blaster rifle. I think it's a turbo laser battery. 
Oh no, it's a Han Seeker. I thought I saw a rounded surface here, which was the Death Star. So it is a Seeker, which is everyone's least favorite thing to open in a premiere pack. Turbo Laser Batters at least look cool. I was really thinking with the gray there that I was seeing, uh, I was seeing the Death Star with space behind it. So I got excited for a Turbo Laser Battery there for a second. It's, it's a 50 cent card, but at least it's not a Seeker. So good news is if you want to buy a premiere pack from me, you probably have a slightly less, less, um, slightly lower chance of getting a Seeker than before, but who knows? Feels like 98% of the packs are Seekers sometimes. Anyways, um, yeah, so not much to say when there's a Seeker in the pack, but hey, at least there's all these cool, uh, these cool characters with some pretty good text. I'll be putting these in my store pretty soon. I haven't had a Luke in stock for a while, so a lot of good stuff there. They're all in pretty good shape. I might have the the lay in there at a bit of a discount just because, you know, if you're buying this to, to display, that's kind of a, it's de well, not kind of, it's definitely a blemish and it might not be what you're, what you're looking for if you want to have a sealed collection. So thanks for tuning in for this video. I got a few more boxes and pack videos coming up pretty soon. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and have a good one.